They don't really like us Cause they're not real like us Have to defeat the purpose yeah. The industry don't like us So pop stars amongst us It's not my to music from him because he was the one who was uh, basically you know pumping the jams in the house um, also another another person who was musical my grandfather on my mother's side um, Polos but he he used to have um, those old old school uh, you know record players with the, with the with the, where you put the vinyl on top and with the needle and whatever and that was that was my first experience of music cause, you know I spent like f four years in Mabupani you know that's that's where my my mother's family is from and that's where I got my first glimpse of music my, my grandfather used to play all sorts of stuff he's originally from the Soto so you know, he, he had his own thing, but he, he used to play some music. And um, I had a cousin, um, Aniki, smile. She's actually my aunt's uh, firstborn, my aunt on my father's side. Uh, she was deep into country music. She played a lot of Kwaito. I used to jam to a lot of Kwaitos, like most of us did. You know, my early development. She used to play a lot of Kwaito, a lot, a lot, a lot of Kwaito. Um, and a lot of country, like I said. She was totally into music. She had a tape player. <sighs> I didn't even know what a tape was back then. So she had one of those tapes that when it got to the end, it actually flipped the tape around and played it backwards and would play side B without you having to change it or whatever. So. She would put in one tape and it would play like the whole day, sometimes even the whole weekend if I went to visit and it was just an awesome experience for me, like uh, that's how I learned music really. Um, another person who was a big influence uh, was my aunt, my, my mother's uh, youngest uh, sister, Diseo. Uh, she was... She was something, uh, she's only eight years older than me, so the generation gap was not that huge between me and her. So she, she was also into a lot of, you know, American R&B. I think, I remember it was the time when R. Kelly and Aliyah and Jodeci, you know, uh, 112, all those bands, those R&B bands of the time, All For One, Heavy D, she was heavy, heavy into that. Um, 90s R&B and, and um, uh, when she was finishing her high school she came to live with us she came to live with her sister my mother at the time and it was uh, I think it was when um, about between 94 and 96 ish somewhere there 
And for those couple of years that she lived with us, uh, I heard a lot of a 